today I changed around a little bit just because I have a brilliant light coming through this window and it was right in my face I couldn't see a damn thing so I just came over here because you know this <laughs> nothing I can do about it <laughs> and I wanted to get this done because I got to go to work and uh yeah so um a couple of videos ago I was talking to you about Brenda from from the channel the poncho lady 10 um uh, wonderful woman talented beyond beyond um and how she takes different yarns it doesn't matter what kind of yarn it is she mixes them all together and she just blah, 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 boom. she has like a gorgeous poncho i am so envious uh that I mean, she, the talent that comes out of this woman is just un, unreal. I just can't even describe it. So I'm going to leave her link down below. Please go and subscribe to her channel. And also, um, she's on Instagram. I don't know if she's on TikTok. I don't use TikTok very much. Uh, but she's on Facebook, but she's not under the poncho lady. On Facebook so um, yeah, I'm not sure I, I I just get to her through her name but yeah um, but anyway I got inspired now for those of you that have been around a long while you may know that I am I don't want to say plain Jane um, but I am afraid of mixing things up, you know, like I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I, I've got black and white got to be with black and white, you know, you got to have, um, like the numbers of stitches and stuff has to be either fives, tens, fifteens, twenties, uh, or threes or you know, equal amounts of, you know, like I just, I have OCD when it comes to stuff like that. When it comes to color, I love variegated yarns because I don't have to think about it. But um, mixing a variegated yarn has to be mixed with a solid for me. Um, I can't function if I don't have some order, right? So for me to mix different yarns just puts me into a bit of a panic. But hers comes out so gorgeous that I am willing to bite the bullet and try it. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> and if you're watching Brenda, please help me out here. Um, I, I've picked some yarns. <laughs> I just don't even know. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I went and I bought the Karen Blossom cake. I bought like four of them, I think four or five of them in this color. I just love this color. It's so shabby chic. I love shabby chic and boho and, and stuff like that. Um, so this to me is just gorgeous. Uh, so this one is called Cabana. Um, it's a medium four weight yarn. It's 61% cotton and 39% acrylic. Gorgeous. So, Brenda mixes wool and acrylic and cotton and like thick and thin and furry and not and just fancy and like, I, just, I can't, I can't even like, I would love to sit down and watch her process because that to me is just, I never would have thought that that all would go together. 
and she does it just beautifully. Um, so I don't know about this guys. So this is what I'm cut. Um, my color palette is going to be based from. All right. So here we go. <sighs> okay. I went to Michael's. You may, oh, I haven't put that video out yet. Uh, I went to Michael's and I found luckily, and I think that the higher powers knew that I wanted to do this and just put this yarn out because this yarn is a unicorn. You can very rarely ever get this yarn, but it's the Karen Latte Cake in the cream, the white cream color. This is so hard to find, at least in Canada. I don't know about the States, but this is very hard to find. It is $14.99 a, a cake. They had five cakes, and I'll tell you, I picked them all up. I didn't care about the price because I really love this yarn. I'm really hoping that next year they come out with black just because, you know, or, or bring out more solid colors like this. Um, so I got this one because I figured these two would go really well together. Oh, look at that. So pretty already. Okay. Um, so that's one fuzzy yarn. Then I figured I'd mix it with the Premier Basic. And this color is Iran. I think that'll go quite well. And if you put the three together, I think it goes quite well. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, now we get into some funky stuff. Um, this color, th this yarn is discontinued, but I had a ball and a half left of it. Um, so I wanted to get into some darker colors to bring, to pop, you know, make it pop a little bit. So I have the Premier Yarns Aurora. So I wanted to pull the brown colors out of this. I don't know if you can see that. You can see where I'm going with that. <sighs> um, then I also have... Oh man, I'm just having anxiety thinking about this. Because <laughs> I don't know how to put it all together. You know, I mean, it's one thing to have the yarns, but it's another thing to actually have it in the layers that it needs to go into. Um, this is the Mainstay Sparkle Acrylic Yarn in the color Taupe Splash. So it's, uh, yeah. I think that'll go okay think okay then I have not I have like just a bit of this but I think it'll be enough for this project but it's another Karen latte and the color is coconut cream and I don't think you can get that anymore I don't honestly know so Oh boy. <laughs> then I wanted to pull the pinks out of this yarn. So I just got this uh, at Christmas time. And it's the Hirschner's Worsted 8 Heathered. And the color is brick. What do you think? I think that goes pretty close. 
Now, this last one, I just, I, I, what, I, it just popped out of my shelf. It was in a in a bag of stuff that um, was just random stuff that I had left over from when I got rid of everything in my room. And for some reason, this was in there. Again, fate maybe? I don't know. And I don't know if you can get this anymore. I haven't seen it myself. But it's the Homespun Thick and Quick Stripes. And the color is Antique Stripes. It's a really chunky. Now, this one has a bit of green in it, so I don't know if I'm going to leave that green in or not. I'm sure that Brenda would. <laughs> so, I think that, even, even with the green, I think that might be okay. So, yeah, I'll show you a picture of all of it laid out. Um... Wow. Like, I don't even know where to start with this. Do I start with the chunkiest first up at the neck? Um, do I, oh, do I start with this one to show the color scheme? Do I, like, I, I'm at a total loss for this. I'm, I, my thought is saying, you know, maybe start with the darkest color first um, and then end with the darkest color, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I should go from dark to light, light to dark, have a mixture of the both of them. Whew, I'm just, I got to sit with this for a bit. And I also have to figure out a pattern. Now, Brenda uses a lot of Bag o Day's patterns. Everybody uses patterns from Bag o Day. I want to be a bit different. I don't know if I want to use a fiber spider pattern or like, I just don't, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. Um, keeping in mind that I have a really thick yarn here. So the, the pattern has to be um, able to have some, something like this. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. I think I like the colors. Um, I did put an order in. Uh, oh, no, I haven't put that order in yet. I have, I have an ice order that I want to put in, and it has the long-haired eyelash yarn. And I thought that would go really nice in a poncho. So it won't be in this one, but it will be in, an, in a future poncho. So let me know what you guys think of this color scheme. I think it looks very shabby chic. I really do. And I, I really like the color schemes of it. Um, but I think like this will be a highlight color for sure. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So, Brenda, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.